Peggy 16. Firewall Zero Hour is a strategic multiplayer first-person shooter. All right, let's get in a position for breach. It's exclusive to PSVR, and it's incredible. The objectives in the game is you're either on an attacking team or a defending team. The objectives are, as an attacker, to infiltrate and steal sensitive information. Data transfer online. And as a defender, your job is to protect that information from the attackers. In Firewall Zero Hour, you can choose from assault rifles, shotguns, sidearms, and SMGs. You can also equip yourself with grenades, flashbangs, a signal jammer, mines, and C4, all sorts of different equipment that can help you reach your objective. When a friendly goes down, you want to get to him as soon as you possibly can. Running up to him, physically looking down, and pressing the interact button to get him back up and into the fight. But we also have a revive pistol, so you could actually revive your friendlies from afar. Black Hat Up is live. The contract handlers are two anonymous, eye in the sky characters in the game that hire you to complete the objectives. You know the drill. Reach the firewall via access point. We refer to them as mother and father. Contract fulfilled. Initiated payments, firing encrypted transfer. The characters are not all from one military group. They are contractors. Each character has their own training from their own background, which I thought was pretty cool instead of just going straight to the military thing, which everybody does. I wanted to put a bit more of human feel into it. One of our characters is a poacher hunter. Her entire life is devoted to tracking down poachers and protecting animals. We have a Koro. He is a very brute force guy from Angola. We have Skip. Skip's from Australia. He's one of our favorite characters here. People can relate to those characters as well, where people start playing a certain character because they relate to their backstory. Everyone can jump in and play Firewall. You don't have to be a hardcore shooter player. It's, it's really, we made this game for everyone to have that feeling. Doing that all in VR is just amazing, so we're really proud of it. For the players.